Um, I really wanted to expand my horizons in my college career. I wanted to look back and say I did something really cool. <laughs> American Sign Language Club. I did another club called Connect Wake where we would go and um, volunteer with different things that really like revolved around developmental disabilities and that's exactly like the population that I want to work with. An internship at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. I got to work with the jellyfish and that was exciting. I was part of the international club. All the NSC students were invited to join and so we did a lot of stuff. Um, got together and tried to learn other languages and eat different food and we went out together a lot. And um, I got involved with um, the sign language club too. Being surrounded by people from other cultures definitely opened my eyes a little bit more. Because um, my, my actual roommate, her name was Mami Sekiyama, she was from Japan. She was the most adorable thing that I have ever met in my entire life. And um, she participated participated in the Japanese club a lot and they did like tea light ceremonies. So I got to see her in her traditional clothing. And I, she would try to explain it to me. I'm very in touch with the planet over in California. I liked it. Uh, everybody was uh, conscious of the uh, carbon footprint they were giving off. And it was easy to eat healthy and be healthy and recycle. <laughs> Girl, like whenever I'm here, the people that I'm around, like we're all from the South. Like I'm not mm -hmm. really around like mm -hmm. Northern people all that much. Like I don't know why, but just my group of friends were all from the South, like South Carolina, Georgia, like typical Southern states. Mm -hmm. And whenever we had our meeting in North Carolina with the whole like NSC group, mm -hmm. all of us that were there, um, the first girl that I met was from like way up North. I had never been to the South before. So me and her really learned a lot from each other. I took an environmental creative writing class and I remember talking to my professor about this. Um, about It had been a while since I actually wrote something that wasn't a scientific research paper and she asked me to write a short story. I don't know how to do that anymore <laughs> and so I kind of just sat and I started writing and I think I related it to this quote from Pablo Neruda um, about um, moments in your life and how they define you and how being in California was definitely a defining moment for me. I don't know if I discovered or rediscovered a certain part of me, but it's definitely here again and I like it. Uh, health psychology class there and it was more of like a student outreach type thing. That was so much fun. We were, um, we got to do different programs like alcohol education program, a sex education program, a gambling education program, mm -hmm. and we would go to different like organizations on campus and present it. That was a lot of fun. Cool. <laughs> a little skeptical when I was looking it up because I know I'd be missing a lot here, but the experience that you get being somewhere else, it's just you can't get that anywhere. I don't know. I think I would have done it sooner and done it for mm -hmm. longer. <laughs>